G'day guys, my name is James and I'm from the Behaviour and Genetics and Social Insects Lab at Sydney University. And today I want to tell you about some of the projects I've recently undertaken as part of my PhD. Now, I was studying nest site selection in Asian honeybees. But when most people think of honeybees, they conjure up images of little guys such as these. This is the Western hive bee and it is a species which in here in Australia and in most of the world is the primary honey producer. So these little bees here make all the honey that you see in the supermarkets that you put on your toast in the mornings and that everybody loves to eat. Now when a honeybee colony such as this one here wishes to reproduce, the queen along with a subset of these worker bees here, they leave the colony and form a temporary cluster in the surrounding environment. Now from this temporary cluster, looks, which looks very similar to these bees you can see outside of this colony here, the scout bees take to the air and they search the surrounding environment for new nesting locations. As the western hive bee is a cavity nesting species, these scout bees are searching for large dry holes, such as these you can see here in this tree, in which to build their new colony. Once the scout bees have found a suitable nesting site, as these have here, they'll go through a process of evaluation which will last up to 40 minutes. After which the scout bee will return to the swarm cluster and communicate her finding to her nestmates. She'll continue this process of evaluation and communication over and over again until sufficient numbers of scout bees have been recruited to the new nesting hole. As once this has occurred and a quorum of consensus has been reached, the swarm will take to the air and it will move into its new nesting location. Now where does your research come into the picture I hear you asking? I'm glad you asked. The western hive bee is only one of 12 different honeybee species and they differ in their nesting biology. My first study organism, the red dwarf honeybee, produces small dinner plate sized colonies which wrap around and hang below twigs in the environment. And I found that these bees are much less fussy. Scout bees don't continually reevaluate the nest sites that they find, and they go through an extremely rapid decision making process. My second species, the giant Asian honeybee, produces huge colonies which are two meters in width. And they nest in branches like these you can see up at the top of the canopy here. And they're much more nest sites limited. And I found in this species that their behavior was very similar to that of the Western hive bee. So I demonstrated that in the Asian honeybees, you, uh, with increasing complexity of nest site, you see increasing behavioural complexity. Thank you for your time.